Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Kim and welcome to Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks. Today, we're going to have art lessons. Let's have an art lesson about Kahundi Wiley. He is a very famous painter. He is the first African-American to paint the official portrait for a United States president. This is his presidential portrait of President Barack Obama. What are the lessons that we can learn from Kahundi Wiley? Kahundi Wiley teaches us that we can draw real people to show who they are and what they are like. He painted a picture of a real person, a very important and famous person, President Barack Obama. When you look at the painting of President Obama, what do you think he is like? Look at his face. Look at his clothes. Look at his hands. Look at the way that he is sitting. Mr. Wiley wanted to tell you something about this real person. Kahundi Wiley teaches us that what you decide to include in a painting is very important. If you look at the painting carefully around President Obama, you will see different types of flowers. Can you see them? They are beautiful. Why did he include all these different kinds of flowers? The first flower is the purple African lily. This flower is included because President Obama has family from Kenya. The rosebud is another flower in the painting. The rosebud is included because it is a symbol or image of love and courage. The next flower is the white jasmine. The white jasmine is included because President Obama was born in the state of Hawaii and he also lived in the country of Indonesia. The white jasmine grows in both places. The chrysanthemum is the official flower of the city of Chicago, Illinois. And it is included because Chicago is a city where President Obama lived and worked for many years. Before becoming president, he was a state senator for Illinois. Mr. Riley purposely painted a chrysanthemum that had different colors in it to represent the many different people that President Obama led and helped. Mr. Riley teaches us that we can draw real things in different ways for different reasons. In this painting, what do you think of the way that Mr. Riley painted each of the flowers? Let's compare some of the flowers in the painting with the real flowers. Here is a picture of the purple African lily. You can see Mr. Riley's use of shades of color. Do you think that the painting looks the same as the real flower? Do you think that the painting looks different from the real flower? Here is the picture of a real rosebud. The flowers in the painting look delicate, just like the real flowers. Do you think that the painting looks the same or different from the real flower? Here is a real white jasmine. Do you think that the painting looks the same as the real flower? Or do you think that the painting looks different from the real flower? Lastly, here is a real chrysanthemum that has different colors in it. Do you think that the painting looks the same or different as the real flower? And if they are different, does one look better than the other? Or are they both beautiful? even though they are different. Let's review our lessons that we learned from the artist Kahundi Wiley. Number one, we can draw people and show others who they are and what they are like. Number two, there is a meaning behind what painters include in their artwork. Number three, we can paint real things in the same way or different way as we want. 
Now it's our turn. Do you have your copy of the presidential portrait and some crayons or markers, color pencils or paint? If you don't, it's okay. Just pause the video, go and get them, and then come back. Mrs. Kim will wait for you. If you don't have the coloring sheet, it's okay too. You can use a piece of paper and you'll still do a great job. Now you can paint along with Mrs. Kim. Let's start to draw our pictures. You can make your picture like the real one, or you can do it differently. It's your artwork, and I want you to use your creativity and talents. Hmm, I wonder what color I'll use. I wonder what color you'll use. I think I'm going to start with purple and color in some of the flowers. Where are you going to begin? I want to draw some of the flowers right here. And I think I'll make some of the flowers up here purple too. What do you think that you'll do? I think next I'm going to go with yellow. How about you? I'm going to make some yellow flowers right here. And you know what? I want to make it really big. That looks nice and bright. I'm going to make some more yellow flowers over here. I think next I'll use the color green to start with some of the leaves. I want to color some of the leaves down here. And I think I want to color some leaves near this yellow flower too. I'm trying to be very careful because I want to do a very good job of my presidential portrait of President Barack Obama. I'm sure you're doing a wonderful job too. Okay, I'm going to stop here because our time is soon up. I hope that you can continue after our time together. How's your painting going? I am sure that it'll become wonderful. I would love to see your artwork. I have an empty picture frame waiting for your artwork. If you want, please contact Mrs. Kim at Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks and please send me a picture of your painting. I'll show your painting on Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks and I'll brag about you, okay? Okay. You know what? Time is up. I had such a great time with you and making beautiful art together. Before we go today, remember, Mrs. Kim thinks that you are so special, so sweet, so smart, and so artistic. Thank you so much for coming today. And I hope to see you next time at Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks. Bye-bye. I'll miss you and see you soon.